I really hope this reaches the Vita. Well, So, this was an exclusive? Wasn't expecting that! Wish this would release <laughs> for Steam! <laughs> the animations look giant. PS4 board bless! Didn't this trailer come out 10 months ago? It's a simple translation PowerPoint takes that long. I wonder how long it would take us to get the game compared to Japan release. I don't get the hype. God, I don't want to pay for just one of this and like the only three games halfway decent on it. Besides, is there even a big enough adult market on it? I mean, wouldn't it make more sense a game with demons and symbolism be on the systems adults play? Please don't make this game too hard. Still waiting for the new Trauma Center game. Put Persona 5 on the Switch. I need something to play and work. Now bring Persona 5 to the Switch and we're all good to go, Nancy. Can I just put all our games on the Switch, please? Come on, at least. It's the PC port too. Hell. Using E4 is pretty teasing for multi platform, especially for PC. Nice. But you know, there's another Alice game with a 5 in it that we would love as well. Especially given how popular one of its predecessors did on a mobile system. Arguably one of the few games that was worth buying the system for. And Sad 5 game just got nominated for the best game of the year. <laughs> just saying. Damn. It's only for the Switch. See, this is why Persona Dancing Gay Fag Boys need to stop supporting easy mode games where friendship and hope win the day. Play a real game like this and go cry to your mommies. So I can make Burger Down 2. Fuck, weak ass switch. Put this on PC, you dumb fuck, Alice. Isn't SMT the same as Persona? Persona 5 came out months ago. No, if only they get a decent director and a writer this time around. Oh, uh, and bring back Kameko. Honest. You make the protagonist not be another blonde, boring beta male harem lead like you always do in your past games. I'm getting sick and tired of it. Finally, now the fucking SMT fans can shut the fuck up and let Persona live. Atlas is the only person to use glow effect on text since 1998. Oh. <laughs>